athletes. It is no secret the UNM athletic department is in a financial mess. As leaders work their way through it, there could be some surprises, like the latest one. The UNM Lobo football program is actually making money, not losing it like we've heard for a while now. Now some wonder if that surprise profit means we need to take another look at cutting some sports programs. Our Nathan O'Neill is digging deeper into those numbers, and he joins us live at UNM with why a local attorney is now saying this is a game changer, Nathan. Yeah, well, this letter was sent by a local parent to the Board of Regents. In it, they claim that the, as the university gets a clearer picture of its finances, that those cut sports programs should get a second chance. For more than a decade, UNM Athletics has faced financial distress. This is unfortunate that we have to be in this position. The university dropped several popular sports programs amid public outrage, but now UNM is getting a more complete picture of its finances, diving deeper into each sports program. For quite some time, the narrative from UNM has been that the football program has been losing money, but now the university confirms that UNM football actually made money, nearly $1.6 million last year. That raises some serious questions, especially for Greg Williams, whose son was on the soccer team that got cut. Based on that new information, we want to make sure that the regents have a fair opportunity to evaluate that in terms of these programs that were, that were cut last year. On Monday, he sent this letter asking to conditionally reinstate the men's soccer, beach volleyball, and ski teams. Remember, money is only half the reason UNM cut those programs. The university says this move was necessary to be Title IX compliant. It's very important that the regents act immediately on this. Meanwhile, lawmakers are considering a legislative financial fix that would also give UNM's athletic budget a $2 million boost. But university officials say that's not enough. The athletics director sent us this statement, quote, reinstating the sports increases the need for more programmatic support and considerable funding to remain Title IX compliant by investing in existing and additional women's sports. And the Board of Regents is set to meet on Monday next week. Reporting live, Nathan O'Neill, KLB4.